control here. Everyone ready? Phase one. Make sure Sadie's asleep. Phase two. Newton places the mammoth cheese bomb. Phase three. We say goodbye to tomorrow morning math test. <laughs> I've got you now. Supper is your boss. I knew it. Where's my rubber ducky? Oh, Pinkerton's all mine. It's okay, Trixie. She's just dreaming. Newton, your move. Time to blow up her alarm clock so we can get back to bed. Newton? 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 Ah! Newton! <laughs> Go wash your feet. You know, I'm worried about you, Newton. Your marks have taken a nosedive. You only have an 80% average now. And today, to top it off, you fell asleep in class. Perhaps you can tell me what happened. It seems you lack sleep. When we don't sleep enough, we can become aggressive and impressionable. Aggressive? Impressionable? A bit more sleep and you go back to being the best student at Pinkerton. Uh, I promise I'll try and get more sleep, Mr. Sopper. Very good, Newton. I'm counting. <laughs> He told me I should sleep more at night. He told me I only had an 80% average. I've given it some thought, and I think that... I think I should quit the invisible net with you kids. Oh, not forever. Just long enough to get back up to 100% average. A few weeks, Tom. But, but how are we going to manage without your gadgets and stuff? Nah, oh, hey, I'm sure you'll manage just fine without me. Besides, I promised Mr. Sopper. Okay. Until the next report card, Agent Newton is officially a sleeper. We're gonna miss you, Newton. <laughs> when we do sleep it off, we can become aggressive and impressionable. <laughs> well, let's see what you think about this, Sopa. Hey, dude, there's a big party going down tonight, and you got the invite. Be discreet, walk light on your feet, follow the arrows so nobody knows. If you want to party till you're out of sight, then come on down at the stroke of midnight. Hmm. Did you get it? Did you get it? I knew you would. Strange. It's not signed. Uh, I mean, it's weird. Do you think it could be some kind of trap? No way. It's Ben's birthday. I'm sure that glutton is having a party just so he can have the biggest cake in history. In any case, the best way to find out if Macbeth is behind this is to go. I'll warn Zero. You go into Newton's room and make sure he doesn't get his invitation. If he even got one, that is. We meet downstairs at 11 on the dot. This is where it is. Hmm. Password. Underground. Hmm. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah! Wow, pretty amazing setup, huh? Yeah, if you say so. Something's fishy. That is way too shy for all this. <laughs> Hey, Ben, what's shaking? Today's your birthday, right? Uh, yeah. And it's super nice of you. I mean, all of you, Dad. Remember. So, uh, it was you who organized the party, huh? Uh, well, uh, yeah. Yeah. You see? what I tell you? It's just Ben's birthday party. Relax, Trix. Have some fun. I'm going over to the buffet to stock up. You coming, Zero? <laughs> Boy, are you ever a... Beautiful tonight, Trixie. Would you like to uh, dance with me? Yo, dudes, tonight there's a party in the house. You got the invite, so hang tight. Follow the arrow so nobody knows. Move to the beat, bring up the heat. Have a gas, don't get tired. Forget tomorrow, get yourself wired. Forget your homework, don't be a clock. You're not.
not sleepy. I'm not sleepy. You're not sleepy. You're not sleepy. We're not sleepy. You're not sleepy. We're not sleepy. You're not sleepy. We're not sleepy. So get your tired. Get yourself wired. We're the freestyle gang. Forget about work. That's for the jerks. We're underground and I got the sound. <laughs> Everyone get in the groove. Forget the blackboard. You got to keep on the move. Forget about fatigue. You're now part of the league. And I got the beat that's gonna keep you from sleep. We're not sleepy. You're not sleepy. 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 Hello, kids. Hard time getting up this morning? Well, there's nothing better than some high jumping to get the day off to an invigorating start. I didn't sleep a wink last night. I tried everything. Chamomile tea, mental exercises, counting sheep for hours. Mm. Nothing worked. Me neither. I couldn't stop thinking about Ben's party. Must be the full moon. That can disturb your sleep. Yeah, still, it's all kind of weird. <laughs> Newton super jump. That's an A plus plus jump right there. Ouch! Oh, Ouch! Oh. Hey there, big guy. You're supposed to jump over the bar. Hey, Bert. Huh? Guess you mixed up high jumping and jumping into bed. Just try saying that again, coward. Why? You think you'll understand better the second time? Aggressive. Impressionable. Greco Roman wrestling is next week, boys. Apologize to each other and shake hands like the good friends you are. Mr. Supper! Discipline has gone right down the drain of this school. The students didn't do today's homework and spent the whole time in class chatting and arguing with each other. And you didn't punish anyone? Uh, of course I did. Well, then I'm sure everything will go back to normal. These things happen. You know as well as I do that kids can be turbulent at times. Turbulent? More like right out of control. I'm warning you, if this continues, we're going to have to take drastic measures. Come, come, Miss Macbeth. I'm <laughs> sure that won't be necessary. Good night. Same to you, Mr. Supper. Okay, Trixie, I take back what I said. The insomnia, the music, it just doesn't make sense. Hey, what's up with you guys? Did you just see a talking bread bowl or what? What's wrong? You look like totally exhausted. Mm -hmm. Nothing's up. Nothing that concerns you anyway, Newton. Hmm? Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry, Trix. I'm such a dork. I completely forgot that I'm supposed to be a sleeper. Which is a good thing, because tomorrow I've got to do a super presentation on the evolution of the oyster's brain, which counts for 50% of my turn mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our only lead is Ben. We gotta question him, but discreetly. We can't draw this attention. We said discreetly, Zero. No, it wasn't me. But I was so happy that you all thought it was, I didn't dare tell you the truth. I got an invitation, just like everyone else, and I don't know where they came from. I knew it. It was... You know who? You okay, Trixie? You look really, really tired. Newton, yeah, listen. Something real serious has happened. Macbeth has... Uh, I don't know. You gotta help us. Uh, serious? Really? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you're testing me. <laughs> oh, boy, you almost got me with that one, Trix. <laughs> I know. I made a decision, and no one, not even you, can make me change my mind. <laughs> Agent Newton is a sleeper agent until the next report card. Ben, Zero, do you read me? Whoa, whoa. Ouch! Uh, yeah. Roger, loud and clear. What 
exactly are we looking for, Trix? I don't know. A clue? An idea? I don't know anymore. Aha! <gasps> Ink! The invisible network of kids! This time, I've got you! <laughs> now that wasn't very smart, rummaging through my office in the middle of the day without taking uh -oh. the slightest precaution. You see what happens when you don't get enough hmm? sleep? Mom, is that you? No sense in denying it. I know that you're not the only ink agents, and I want the complete list of the others right now. Come on, talk! Talk, and then I'll let you sleep. A little zap from this thing and bingo, you will be sleeping like lambs. <laughs> new, new... Pin, no. Uh-huh. New, New York, uh -oh. New York. <laughs> Fine. Just keep on being wise, guys. I know you'll break at some point. One could not live without sleep. That dumb old geezer mm. Sopper said it himself. Mm. 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 I won't wish you a good night then. <laughs> Sleepy. I'm not sleepy. I've never had any problems getting him to... Between us, my dear old colleague, we all go through rough periods from time to time. Perhaps you're just a bit tired of Pinkerton at the moment. Perhaps you could take a few days' rest. Do you really think so? I'm only saying that in the best interest of the kids, of course. You'll see. With me here, everything will run like... Tracy, Tracy, you were right. I was a real dork not to have listened to you. It's horrible. Macbeth is taking control of Pinkerton. Uh, Tracy, it's me, Newton. Don't you recognize me? Uh, Newton? It appears that Macbeth has printed a subliminal message in your brain, and that's what is blocking the substance that allows one to sleep. You're a super good friend, Newton. Vin Zero and I don't tell you often enough, but your gadgets are just amazing. And even if your practical jokes aren't always funny, we still love you. <laughs> You've got to stop thinking that just because you're the youngest one, you have to be perfect. And that goes for ink as much as for your marks. You really don't need to have 100% average in school. Really? You think 99%'s good enough? More than enough. So, you're leaving, Mr. Supper? Yeah, you were right. I just can't take it anymore. I undoubtedly need a break. Need to take stock of the situation, especially if it's in the kid's oh. best interest. Great! Oh, you make the right decision. Uh, and to help you along, I brought you some reading material. It's my ultimate reference book. It's called Discipline or Punish. Why choose? Who's in the house? Answer the question correctly, and it's Betty Bye for you. 
Otherwise, it's funky way until the break of day. Any volunteers? Yes. Uh, Mac, uh, Macbeth is in the house? Right. <laughs> You're not sleepy. <laughs> Join your friends, Vin and Zero, and I shall put an end to your silly rebellion. Pinkerton is mine. All mine! message on the record you danced to. It stops your little brains from going to sleep. Everyone who was unfortunate enough to listen to it is totally oblivious to its effects. But ever since, they have been unable to sleep. Except, of course, when I decide to let them. But I will only do that if you are very, very well behaved. Oh. Hey, you! Didn't you hear what I just said? Spit that out immediately. Chewing gum's forbidden in class. Oh. Oh. Enough already! One, two, three, everybody in the bed! But, but that's impossible! You must sleep! That's what you want to do! <laughs> what is that? It burns! Of course it does! It's my chili pepper dragon breath fire candies! It'll keep you awake for a few minutes. Long enough to get past Macbeth before she gets out of the chewing gum. You're going to pay dearly for this! Sadie Macbeth, stinky oh. breath! Sadie Macbeth, stinky breath! Lucky you were there, Newton. Without you, the invisible network of kids would have been history. We would have been Macbeth's slaves till the day we die. Or else never slept again. As 
soon as you came up with the idea of playing the record backwards, everyone was able to get to sleep again. And on top of it, they slept so much they forgot everything. You really saved us, Newton. I have to thank you guys, too. Mm -hmm. Life in Pickerton without being a secret agent is kind of like a chocolate cake without the chocolate. Chewing gum without bubbles. Without you guys, I would have just been a regular student until the next report card, anyway. Uh, don't you think we should do something about Macbeth? As soon as Mr. Sopper returns, I promise. <laughs> Oh, Miss Macbeth, I'm giving you back your book. I've given it a lot of thought, and I think it's probably best for each of us to follow our own separate methods. So, did everything go well during my absence? Invisible network! I'm not sleeping! I'm not spies! I'm not... I'm not sleeping! <laughs> terrible kids! It's terrible! Oh, my, my poor Sadie. It looks like the kids really put you through the ringer. I've never seen you look so tired. Perhaps you should take off a few days. Get away from Pinkerton for a while. <laughs> Science Club! Science Club! Mr. Sopper, how do we know when we need to sleep? It's very simple, Van. When you're tired, you yawn. Your eyes sting and blink. Your eyelids become heavy and you get irritable. <laughs> Nothing is better than peace and quiet. Perhaps a good book to get you to sleep. But why do we sleep in the first place, Mr. Sopper? Everyone needs to sleep because during sleep, the human body re-energizes and recuperates from the day's fatigue. Without a good night's sleep, it's impossible to be in shape intellectually or physically. But what exactly is a nightmare? When you sleep, Kathy, your brain is still working at top speed. You imagine tons of things, some of which can be very frightening. But in a nightmare, what you see doesn't necessarily correspond to reality. It may be something very bizarre. Are good dreams different, sir? They work on the same principle, Hector, except that they're a lot nicer. In good dreams, you imagine everything that you can't do in your real life. There is no limit what you can do in your dreams. You can fly, become a giant, have incredible adventures. Dreaming is a fundamental human need, which is why we can say that nothing is more beautiful than seeing your dreams come true. <laughs>